The Phoenix VA Healthcare System shares a long, proud history of providing medical services to our servicemen and women after they leave the military. As part of our commitment to veterans and as outreach to the community, we bring you our monthly television news magazine, to your health. Obesity is fast becoming an international epidemic. VA started the MOVE program to fight the problem of obesity head on. Today we're going to catch up with the MOVE program and find out how VA is helping our veterans create healthy lifestyles. We'll also discover what childhood ailment can come back to hurt us in later years. Then Rob in the gym will give us some pointers to help ease that lower nagging back pain. All this and much, much more. I'm Paula Padine and welcome to To Your Health. From prenatal exams to full body adult imaging, ultrasound has proven to be a safe and effective way to look inside the human body. I recently had an ultrasound and Dr. Pai, I have to tell you, mm -hmm. I was fascinated by what I saw. Mm -hmm. So for the audience, can you tell us what is an ultrasound and what is it designed to do? Sure, an ultrasound is basically a machine connected to a transducer, which is the scanner, and it transmits sound waves. Uh, the sound waves reach different tissues and it, uh, the sound waves bounce back. The transducer picks up those sound waves and transmits them into an electric image. And what kind of image do you see? You basically, it depends on what part of the body you scan, you see a transduced image of the different types of tissues because of the different sound waves or the different echoes that come back to the transducer. Okay. And why would one have an ultrasound instead of like another imaging procedure? An ultrasound would be beneficial for one of many, many reasons actually. Um, there's no ionizing radiation with ultrasound, so um, for patients that are pediatric in population or the females that are worried about getting radiation, uh, possibly pregnant females, the, the ultrasound is a better study for that. It's also good for patients that aren't able to stay still for you know something like an MRI or CT, and it's also good for patients that have problems you know with being able to hold their breath because in ultrasound you don't really need to hold your breath. The uh, operator can adjust according to the way you adjust. Yeah, because I, I was completely able to have a full conversation uh -huh. with my technician as we were going over you know the mm -hmm. different parts. So that was really kind of fascinating. What kind of exams can you obtain from an ultrasound? Ultrasound can be used to look at um, the heart, actually. There can be an echo. There can also be used to look at the liver, the gallbladder, the spleen, the kidneys, and a lot of uh, imaging of the pelvis, such as the uterus in a female, or uh, the prostate can be looked at an ultrasound, the urinary bladder. Also, ultrasound can be used to help uh, guide drainages for abscesses. Um, different kinds of technology that ultrasound can do, also arteries and veins. And the flow you were talking about too. Right. And how the blood flows. Basically ultrasound can be um, used to determine uh, which way blood is flowing and um, in some sense how fast in order to detect whether there's areas of narrowing from plaque from atherosclerotic disease. Which is probably prevalent among the population that we treat. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. One of the most fascinating things for me was when, um, is it a Doppler mm -hmm. ultrasound? Uh, when you have a little baby inside of you. Absolutely, ultrasound is often used for uh, pregnant females because there's no ionizing radiation and it's uh, everyone's interested in, in looking at the baby in multiple ways, you know, to detect abnormalities and also now there's a new technology with 3D ultrasound to, so you can actually get a better image of what the fetus looks like. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Thank you. From the art of medical imaging, we're going to enter the world of the culinary arts with our favorite chef. Chef Greg. I joined Greg in the VA kitchen where he whipped up something light and healthy that goes great with almost any meal. Welcome back, Greg. Well, Thanks thank for joining us. Thank you. What are we going to make today? Well, today we're going to make a Caesar dressing for a salmon Caesar salad. And I thought we'd take a classic and modernize it by using a mayonnaise that's made with olive oil that's currently out in the market that you can find in local uh, grocery stores. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take this mayonnaise, take the lid off, and I'm going to measure out a cup. A cup of mayonnaise. Yeah, a cup of mayonnaise. I've never seen one with olive oil, so this must be something new. It's Yeah, it's fairly new. It's only been out probably about eight months or so. Um, and uh, the reason I chose this is it has olive oil, which is better for the heart uh, in terms of the type of fat. And anytime we can take mm -hmm. uh, and improve on something. Make for, it healthier yeah, for exactly. all of us. That's just what we need to do. So to this, next, I'm going to take a clove of garlic. Ah, my favorite. Your favorite. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna... it comes with a little bit of a skin. So what I generally do is just take a knife, a blade, and just mm -hmm. give it a little bump mm -hmm. to crush it. And you know, right. I'm just going to give this chop, a chop, chop. Yeah. You guys are so good at that. Just a rough cut. Yeah, one of these days I'm going to learn how to keep my fingers back and turn that knife. And, and we're just, just going to take this so and put it right in there. All right. Next, I want to use, take this lemon, and I want to get the zest from the lemon. And I have a little zester. It's more like a handheld grater. And we're just going to take about half this lemon. Mm -hmm. And put it right here in front of us. And see how it does that? Mm -hmm. Get these nice little like Makes julian. It pretty. Yeah, julian mm -hmm. strips. We only need half the lemon. We don't, you know, more if that's to your liking, mm -hmm. less if it's not to your liking. Right, and that's a nice thing about salad dressings, you can adjust. So now what I do, and I, 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 I like to do this so that we have nice robust flavor, and I just give this a rough cut. We'll mm. now take this and put it in here. And then to that, we're going to add about an ounce of red wine vinegar, about an ounce or half of a lemon, lemon. and we're going to add that in there. Okay. Next, all I do is take my handheld blender all right. and just put it in there and mm -hmm. give it a little bit of a, a mixture. Right. So we can mm -hmm. blend this all together. And kick our Worcestershire it up. sauce. Yep. <laughs> And I'm going to bring this over because we're. All right. So we'll just put thing. in a couple, uh, a couple splashes of Wish is all you really need. All right. So we're done with that. Now, what we're going to do is add the. We're going to add the Parmesan. And okay. Let's get a little bit of a mess here. And it's about a half a cup. So I'm fairly used to this. And I know yeah. I'm pretty comfortable. Because <clears throat> you cook for a living. Right. And before we get too far, we need to add a little Some bit fresh of fresh ground, ground pepper. pepper. And again, this has monounsaturated fats, which are the best oils for your heart. And that's what we want to use. So right. Now, when we're cooking, you know, things are for like salads that are things that we should be eating, five to nine servings a day now is what we need to have. Right. This, this helps us make it a little bit more easier to get those larger servings in. Right. So typically when you make your salad dressing you'd want to give this about 20 minutes, 30 minutes in the fridge to allow the flavors to merge together so that everything is incorporated and, and, and really tastes good. And just pour a little bit on here at a time, not a whole lot. And, and just keep on tossing so everything's nice and neatly coated. And not a lot. Mm -hmm. um, if, if, if you needed more for the uh, your company, your guests, you just you would, can add it. yeah, you mm -hmm. can put it on the table and let people, and they can add more. Okay, so now we got this nice and coated. Mm -hmm. Looks Here, good, smells good. What I have and I brought for us hmm. um, is some salmon that's already prepackaged that you can buy at the store. So all we're going to do is open it up. Oh, really easy. Yeah, really easy. Mm -hmm. Open it up, remove. And salmon is so right. good for you. And now, if you wanted to, you're cooking at home, you could take mm -hmm. and certainly uh, grill your own salmon. Mm -hmm. So we just take it there, maybe fluff it up a little bit. So then, after you're done, mm -hmm. you would go ahead and serve this. Wow, that looks great. It smells wonderful, easy to make, and it's good for your heart. Check out phoenix.va.gov for Greg's Caesar salad recipe and lots more healthy meals. Coming up next, some relief for your lower back, and there's a childhood ailment that could come back to haunt you. Keep watching. We'll be right back.